Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your VR headset for development with an Unreal Engine 5. Now for the first step you're going to want to make sure you've got Unreal Engine 5.1.1 and not the earlier version 5.03. This is because 5.1.1 has OpenXR native in this update and allows you to basically plug and play with your headset. There is however a few steps before being able to use the headset. Now 5.1 does take a while to do uh, download, so make sure you give it time. But for the first step, what you're going to want to do is come to Android Studio and download 4.0 from the archives. Now I'll link this in the description for you, but if you scroll down, once you're at the website, agree to the terms, then we need to find Android Studio 4.0, which is May 2020. So we'll scroll down to May 2020. And here we go, we've got Android Studio 4. Now make sure you download this for your appropriate system. So for me, Windows, so I'll choose this one. And once it's downloaded, follow the steps that I take from the setup. It's basically just all the defaults. So just download it to the default location and install. For the next step, you're going to want to create a meta developer account. Now I'll link this in the description as well. So what we want to do is set up an account with the email address. Because uh, I've just got the headset, I don't have any VR apps. And I'll just type my email address in. Now once you've set up your Oculus developer account, it will either ask you to add a credit card or set up your mobile number. So I would set my mobile number up. Press edit. Add text message then type in your number. Once you've done all this, you have successfully verified your account, press back to home. Next it will ask you to enter an organisation name, so I'm just going to write Phil's Designs. Click I, I understand and submit. Agree to the terms and submit. Now you will be able to uh, access the developer mode within the app which we will set up next. Now on your mobile, you're going to want to go to the App Store and search for MetaQuest. Download the MetaQuest app and then once you've downloaded it, open it up. Make sure it's linked to your headset. Then once it is, go to the menu, then devices, then headset settings, and then click on developer mode. Enable the developer mode. For the next step, you're going to need the Oculus app for your desktop. Now you can find this on the Meta website and I will also link this in the description. If we scroll down and under Quest 2, we can find the download software button, click this. And then in our downloads folder, we will see the Oculus setup. Now if you run this and just go through it and install it as normal, it should work. But if you don't have enough space on your computer, there's no way to download it to a different drive. Now, I've figured out a fix for this, so if that is a problem for you, I will follow that up in the next step. If not, you can skip to the next part of the video. So if you're having trouble installing this because you haven't got much space on your drive and you want to install it on a different drive, what you want to do is make sure you only have one Oculus set up in your downloads folder and make sure that it's named exactly this. Because if you had to, there would be a one at the end or another one that would be a 2. Make sure that it's just Oculus setup. Now move it from your downloads folder and drag it onto your desktop. Next, click it, right click and go to properties. Under the location you want to copy this path like I do. Then open up notepad and paste it. Now type backslash oculus setup. Now put a space forward slash drive equals and now you enter the drive that you want to um, install it on. So for me I've only got on my PC C drive and P drive so I would put 
the P drive because there's more space on there like so but if you wanted to install it on the D drive you would just enter D after this you're going to want to highlight it copy and then press the Windows key plus the R button at the same time on your keyboard for this run prompt to come up and then Control V to paste and press OK. Now after that it should install onto your drive, your chosen drive and you shouldn't have any problems. Once you've completed the installation you're going to want to log in with the developer account that you created earlier and that you logged into the app with and then link your headset with the actual app itself and you should be on a screen that looks like this. Now with your headset linked, your account logged in, you're going to want to come to the settings tab here, come to general and under OpenXR runtime set Oculus as active. Now I've already done it so it's greyed out. After that come to the beta tab and you should see a developer runtime features option. Click this and then we want to enable all the pass through uh, Oculus links. So we will enable all of these options. Turn on. Turn on. You can leave this last one as we're not using SharePoint Cloud. Alright guys, so for this next step you're going to want the Quest 2 headset on. Um, I just wanted to make sure that before we go any further that you've linked your headset up and you've logged in with the same developer account that you made earlier. What we want to do as from the home page is come to the settings tab at the bottom come up to the top left where it says system quest link and turn the quest link option on now after you've done this press on the launch quest link tab at the bottom and it should take you to another page enable use air link by clicking on this and it will scan for the available PCs in the area now my PC is here, so I'm going to click to pair. Once you've done this, you're going to have to confirm it on your PC and make sure that the code's the same. So 632261. I'm going to have to take the headset off. Now, once that your PC is paired with the headset, it should say connected. After this, you can launch the headset into desktop mode. Once this comes up, you can now exit the headset. Now that we've got Unreal Engine 5.1.1, Android Studio 4.0, our developer account set up, both Oculus app and Oculus de desktop app installed, now we can finally come to Unreal Engine, come to games, then select the VR virtual reality template and hit create. Now once Unreal Engine 5 is open, for most of you, it should be just as simple as coming to these three dots here and clicking on VR Preview. Now, if VR Preview is greyed out like for myself, this is most likely because your headset has lost connection to your PC. So what you're going to want to do is go back into your headset and find the link and pair it to your PC and launch it into desktop mode again. So another good way to make sure that the preview mode works and isn't greyed out is to put the headset on, launch Quest Link in desktop mode, and then under this panel at the bottom here, let's click on this desktop icon. And as you can see, our desktop has now appeared in our VR headset. So all we need to do now is click on the VR preview launch button. And as you can see, we are now inside the Unreal Engine 5 VR template. So as you can see, we can use the controllers to move our hands. And if you want to move forward, just use the controller stick upwards and then let go and we will move over to the guns. Now, if you want to pick some up, just use the controller with the triggers at the trigger at the back. And then with the tr top trigger, we can shoot shoot both at the same time if we want to put it back down we just let go we can even pick up these cubes and throw them around we can also go over to this ball 
pick this up. So I hope this helped you guys on how to use a VR headset for development with Unreal Engine 5.